Speaker Pro Tem Dehovic. Madam Mayor, was that it with the public comment? Yes, we have yeah. the other speakers. If with the indulgence of you, Madam Mayor, and the rest of the council, I'd like to take a couple minutes to address something that I think is of public import. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I normally wouldn't engage in publicly addressing political hit pieces, but I do so tonight for two primary reasons. Number one is to correct the record with respect to a very important investigation that is being conducted by the city at this time. Number two is to ensure that residents don't feel bullied and are not afraid to step forward and serve our city if they so desire. Unfortunately, this is not a new phenomenon in Rancho Palos Verdes. The mayor, along with several current and former council members, have been the subject to similar attacks in the past. The mayor was also referenced in the most current piece that I'm about to discuss in a minute. As such, and with the urging of numerous residents, I feel it's incumbent upon me to address a very recent email that was sent to many in our community, along with a new post on a new previously unknown website. The email and posting included several unscrupulous, vicious, false, defamatory statements and accusations directed at me personally and the mayor peripherally. The individual or individuals responsible for these attacks and these myriad of lies chose to present these lies to the public under the cover of anonymity. They posted the information on the web and sent the email without having the intestinal fortitude to identify themselves. As we all unfortunately know, it is very easy to attack and assassinate the character of individuals on the internet without any account accountability and responsibility whatsoever. While understanding that I am an elected official and subject to significant scrutiny and potential criticism, the publication of this most recent commentary attacking me and my character and that of the mayor goes way beyond any reasonable political discourse. For the record, I found the lack, I find the lack of decency and civility overtaking and overshadowing politics at all levels, including the national level, extremely distasteful and problematic. I find it even more so here at a local level in Rancho Palos Verdes. As you may know, the city is currently conducting an investigation into potential leaks of closed session information in violation of the Brown Act. I volunteered to chair the subcommittee along with Councilman Alegria, and we are working with the city attorney to bring the facts before the city council for review and potential action. Let me be crystal clear on a handful of facts with respect to the ongoing investigation. First and foremost, the investigation is necessary, it's warranted, and it's based on information and facts available to the entire council and was deemed so by, by a unanimous vote of the entire council. Second, all action taken thus far with respect to the investigation has been vetted, ratified, and sanctioned by unanimous votes of the entire council. Third, no individual council member, council member can take nor has taken any unilateral action with respect to any aspect of this investigation, including the issuing of subpoenas. As a matter of fact, we try to keep it very informal, and there were individuals who demanded that we subpoena them in lieu of talking to us informally. Again, let me repeat, every action taken thus far with respect to this investigation has been improved by unanimous vote and action by the entire council. With respect to me, I will let my record speak for itself. I have a seven-year record. I'm proud of that record and my interactions with all residents and those conducting city business, including those with which I've disagreed. Many in the community have stated that they believe they know who this individual is responsible for this brand of dirty politics and what motivates them to engage in such abhorrent behavior. Their motivation includes trying to influence the outcome of this current investigation and the actions of the council pursuing the investigation. But even more problematic to me, and I'm sure this council, is their desire to scare people from getting involved in the process of local government. There is an election for three spots on this council in less than a year now. There's also currently over a dozen openings that need to be filled on our various committees and the Planning Commission. With this type of action and very personal public attacks, People have questioned whether or not it's worth it to get involved and subject themselves and their families, families are involved too, to this type of gross, disgusting, and inappropriate discourse. I too believe I know 
who the individual is responsible for this cowardly action, and I use that word because that's what he used to describe me. But I'm going to take a different path and refrain from calling him out publicly, and that's just not my style to do that. But I am a believer in karma. I do believe what comes around goes around. And I also believe that every dog will have his day. In closing, I will let our residents and the court of public opinion decide who, again, quote unquote, is the coward and who is partaking in abhorrent and deceitful behavior. And finally, for the record, serving on this council is indeed, without a question, an honor and a privilege. And I find it ex an extremely rewarding experience for both me and my family. And notwithstanding what has recently transpired, I want to encourage any and all residents who want to get involved to step forward and do so. You will not regret it, and I think you will find it rewarding. Thank you, Madam Mayor, for indulging my commentary.